This is a quick tutorial showing you how to achieve this cloth tearing transition using the cloth tearing video assets from LumaBox. So I have my two layers in a comp, sort of sequenced, so that there's a little bit of overlap between the two and this is where the transition will take place. And the first step that I want to do with these files here is I want to put cloth tearing in its own comp. So I will grab it and drag it onto this icon here. And now it's sat inside its own comp called cloth tearing, which is here. And we can see that file sitting inside. Now this file, or this layer currently doesn't have any transparency in it. If I toggle on transparency grid here, nothing is transparent but i can do something about that using this file cloth tearing alpha now alpha just means transparency so if you hear me or people talking about alpha they really just mean transparency or how opaque a layer is and whether you can um, see through it to things underneath so i'm going to drag cloth tearing alpha into this comp as well and make sure it's sitting on top above my cloth tearing layer and I'm going to use cloth tearing alpha as a track mat on cloth tearing. And that just means that cloth tearing is now going to look at this layer for its transparency information, or this layer is gonna drive the transparency, the alpha of cloth tearing. So my track mats live here in this column. If you don't see this column, you can um, toggle using this button and they should appear. So if I expand this drop down, I can set a track mat on this layer and set it to cloth tearing alpha, but we still don't see any transparency. And that's because it's currently, the track mat is currently set to alpha, but we want it to be Luma, which means it's going to use the luminance of this layer to drive the opacity, which, and the luminance just means how bright the pixels are, which means that the white areas, the brightest of all, are going to be fully opaque, and the black areas, the darkest of all, are going to be fully transparent. So now we have transparency in this file, in this um, sort of cloth tearing comp. So now if I go back to my sort of transition scene, I can grab cloth tearing and drag it into this scene and pull it to the end. I'm holding um, shift to snap it to the end. Um, we can now see through the cloth to the layer underneath. And this might be what you want if you just want some white cloth tearing. But what I actually want is for the Egypt, the yellow Egypt layer to be as if it were the cloth and it's tearing to reveal the hell layer underneath. So the way I'm going to do that is using cloth tearing alpha again, and I'm going to use it in exactly the same way on the Egypt layer as a track mat, a Luma track mat. Um, so I drag it into the comp so that it's sat above Egypt, drag it to the end, holding shift to snap it to the end alongside this one again. And then Egypt, its track mat is cloth tearing alpha. It's already set to luminance, not, not alpha, it's luminance, which is what I want. And now we can see through the yellow Egypt layer and it's tearing like the cloth and revealing hell underneath. But we're losing out on all the, the kind of puckering and the wrinkles and the um, ripples shadowing on the material. So in order to apply those shadows to the Egypt layer and really make it look like material, I am going to use this cloth tearing layer and set its mode to multiply. So now you can see just a bit more of those fabricy, clothy shadows are now being applied to the Egypt layer and making it really look like material that's being torn. And there's already a little bit of drop shadow baked into the file, but I want to add a little bit more. So I'm going to add a drop shadow to this Egypt layer. So I right click on it and go to layer styles, drop shadow. And then I can expand this layer by clicking this arrow, swiveling it open. And then again, swiveling open layer styles. And here I can see my drop shadow, swivel that open, see its parameters. Um, I'm going to increase the distance a little bit 
So you can see that I'm just sort of making it go further or closer to the sort of source of the shadow. I think that's good. And just increase the size a bit just to soften it up a little bit. I can toggle its visibility on and off just to see that effect. Yeah, I like that. So I can collapse that all again. And you might think we're pretty much there, but there is a problem, which is if I move to the, this section, it's black. And that's because this layer, remember, Egypt is looking to cloth tearing alpha for its transparency, but this layer runs out. So what we need to do is extend it forward in time. And we can do that by right clicking and going to time, enable time remapping. And now we can just grab the left edge of this and drag it. I'm holding down shift so that it'll snap to the beginning point. And now this, the beginning, the sort of fully white state of cloth tearing alpha is extended in time all the way to the beginning of the comp so that um, Egypt is told to stay fully visible. And there you have it, the cloth tearing transition.